Last year, we saw over 10,000 organizations being targeted in Adversary in the Middle, or AITM for short, phishing campaign that circumvents MFA. Microsoft discovered an AITM phishing campaign that involved attackers bypassing multi-factor authentication. This attack bypassed multi-factor authentication safeguards using AITM proxy sites. Like most other phishing attacks, the intent of those running the campaign is to steal the target system, user credentials, or session cookies to gain initial access. Once compromised, these accounts would act as the staging ground for business email compromise, or BEC attacks, which Microsoft observed were aimed at payment fraud. An AITM attack technique involves the deployment of a proxy web server that relays HTTP packets between the target user and the website the target is visiting, which the attacker impersonates. What's more is that the threat actors can automate the process using popular phishing kits like Modelshka and Murina, as well as open source tools. In this video, we are going to see a demonstration of this attack and how easy it is for hackers to steal Instagram accounts or actually any other social media or even corporate accounts using a tool called Evil Jinx 2. On the left side of the screen, we have Mr. White Hat, which is the victim's computer. On the right side of the screen, it's the attacker's computer, which is running an application called Evil Jinx 2. Now, viewer discretion is advised. We're leveraging fake accounts created for the sole purpose of this demonstration, with the one and only objective of educational and informational purposes. Mr. White Hat is not a real name, neither a real person, and his picture was generated by AI. We are doing this in a virtual and safe environment. Do not engage in hacking activities where you don't have a formal permission of the user or company. This is illegal and can lead you to criminal charges. We're not responsible for how you use the upcoming information. Here we're assuming that the user was lured into logging into a malicious website that impersonates Instagram. That can be easily done with social engineering techniques. Users may not identify the imitated site because every HTTP is proxied, including any branding the authentic page may have, and the only difference can be the URL. I'm not gonna go through all the details of that, but be aware that in more advanced cases, there's techniques that can be employed to mask the URL through some sort of iframe. So, suppose our target user, Mr. White Hat, fails to identify this difference and enters the password, which is the primary authentication and the MFA code. Observe in that case, the attacker will get access to the username and password right away. And right after the user input the MFA received over SMS on his mobile phone, instead of the six-digit code, we captured something more precious, the session cookie, which is generated so that the user doesn't need to authenticate themselves at every new page they visit. Observe that the user experience is not modified by any means, because we're proxying the user's authentication with the legitimate Instagram server in the background, the user is redirected to the page successfully. Now, all we have to do is to open the session cookies and simply copy the data. This is now ours to use. With that information, we can use a simply cookie editor in any browser and import that information on the site we're targeting. After a page refresh, the website will load the imported cookies with the session already authenticated, and now we have full access to Mr. White Hat Instagram account. While AITM is not a new approach, obtaining the session cookie after authentication shows how attackers have had to evolve and take steps to try and sidestep MFA, which they hate. The initial MFA bypass isn't a vulnerability. In essence, it is simply a workaround whose success still depends entirely on whether or not the phishing target is literate in the basics of cybersecurity and whether they can identify a phishing page from a legitimate one. Any links sent in emails should always be treated with caution and always double check a URL to make sure it really does have the correct link before clicking on it or disclosing confidential information. An organization could also defeat this attack by sending the legitimate user a location with the MFA request. This would defeat the problem posed by proxy servers, which would be in a different location and ensure a more secure authentication process. Ultimately, your best solution always going to be awareness. By educating employees about the risks of phishing attacks and how to identify and report them, organizations can help protect themselves against MFA bypass or fatigue attacks, actually to any form of attack. 
I hope this was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.